Hello everyone, this is this guy. You might know me from here, or here, or here, hopefully not from here, maybe from even here. You get the point, I'm a big nerd. So there was a courtship contest coming called Starters, which was rated for Division 3. So I, as any dignified Division 1 person, decided to participate and feel good about my performance. The contest was about to begin, so I turned on my OBS to record my failure in all its glory. The first problem was fairly simple. It had some guy facing north who wanted to face south. We were also given a string of L's and R's which represent the action of turning left or turning right. This guy wanted to do some of these moves continuously, that is take a substring of this given string and perform the moves in it. Now, now we want to tell if any of this substring will help him in facing south. So if you're facing north and want to face south, you just want to rotate 180 degrees in either left or right direction. That is just two consecutive lefts or two consecutive rights. So all we had to do was to check if any two consecutive values were same. I made a mistake initially and checked if any two consecutive values are different, but that is because I'm directionally dumb. So anyways, after wondering for some time what mistake am I doing, I fixed it and submitted the solution, which obviously got AC. Moving on to the next problem, chef and magical steps. Here we are given two numbers x and y, x is less than y, we can increment x by 1 for one cost or we can increment it by 2 for the same cost if x plus 2 is prime. We have to find the minimum number of steps required to reach y from x. Now since we wanted to check primes a lot, I copied C from CP algorithms and slapped it onto my file. Initially I ran a simple simulation where I kept increasing x by plus 2 if possible otherwise plus 1 until I reach y. Now this is of time complexity O Y T, which is too slow, so I got TLE. Luckily for me, this was unrated, also no penalties. Now it was obvious to me we need to pre-compute results in some form to speed up the process. At first I thought of pre-computing some DP, but then just counted how many prime numbers are there in 0 to i represented by count i. So now answer would be just y minus x and then further subtracting number of primes between x and y since every prime helps us skip one step. The case of 2 and 3 being prime and adjacent was gonna be annoying so I ran the initial simulation for a few steps and then used the pre-computed values to get the answer. So I went ahead and contemplated my life choices before submitting my solution which obviously got a C. To the next problem, k-magical string. They say that a string is k-magical if its longest non-decreasing subsequence is of length k. We are given a string s and q queries of form l, r and k where we need to find the lexicographically biggest reordering of substring in the range l, r which is also k magical. So now notice here if we just sort the substring in decreasing order, we get one magical substring which is also lexicographically largest. I found the construction that uh, now all we need to do is reverse the last k elements of this substring we have formed in order to make it k magical. So now I begin the coding. First of all, I store frequencies of all characters as prefix sums because we need to evaluate if making k magical string in this range is even possible because only the queries with existing answer are bounded. So if we do not do this, we might get TLE. Now I begin writing some garbage code to do what I explained. I had a non-existing edge case in my mind which made my implementation messier, which I eventually removed. I was also missing the edge case where the frequency of some element is equal to x in the substring. Then we don't need to do the reversal part as this would already be k magical. Retconning my previous statement, after reversing our string would be x magical not 1 magical where x is the frequency of maximum frequent character. I was breaking this uh, case based solution but eventually figured it out and obviously got ac. Let's not remember any ws I got along the way. Now the last problem in div1, subarray sum. In this we have to, for every subarray, create the prefix maximum and sum all of its elements and uh, then sum it into the final sum and then output it modulo 1e9 plus 7 since answer can be big. So there is an obvious n square solution and I was thinking of maybe trying to see if I can cheese n square solution with pragmas since it is code chef, their test cases are very strong but I decided against it since not just it is unrated for me, I've also never intentionally changed any solution. 
At first, I came up with a quick solution which didn't work and I was sad. Then, after contemplating my life choices again for some time, I realized that it can be solved with some maths after calculating next greater element for each element. So I went ahead to see how it is done on GFG, which was very useful, so I decided to do it on my own. After writing some more garbage code, I realized that I need previous greater element as well. And then after trying a lot of things and a lot of debugging, eventually passed samples. And so I submitted, which obviously got WA. Then after being depressed for some more time and trying a few different things, I eventually found out my mistake. That was I needed to check next strictly greater element and previous element which is greater than or equal to current element. Not doing so was causing me to overcount. After doing this, I submitted my solution which obviously got AC. And I had done it. I had full solved the contest. Since I had free time, I also decided to solve the two non-scorable problems in division 1. The first one was pass or fail which was simply 3 times correct answers minus number of wrong answers then checking if it is greater than or equal to p if so then pass otherwise fail. The next problem was chef and salary pay. Here I just needed to calculate the longest substring with only once then the salary pay was just x times the number of once plus the y times the max length I just calculated. And after some time, Coach Chef had finally updated my rank in the rank list and I placed 11th as you can see. Here is the final rank list. As you can see, I didn't drop thanks to no penalties system in the contest type. Hope you all liked this video. This was my first one on YouTube and I'll be making a lot more soon. So please subscribe for more.